when it comes to architecture, if you're designing something, if you want it to last, I think it has to be comfortable. Here, you're taking people who need help and you're offering them uh, an environment and a community and all you want them to be is safe, secure and happy. That's what it's about. Clanmarn, where we are now, or BMR as Simon calls it, it's here 30 years. Cork Simon wanted to build a residential home. They had huge enthusiasm for it. For us as, as a young practice, we put our heart and soul into it. We wanted to do something that we were going to be proud of, Simon was going to be proud of. Like when I think back to the drawings and the design and the variations and all that, we carefully considered a lot of the details. And then when it came on site, there was a great relationship, all the work for Simon. Um, there's great enthusiasm, like there's a, there's a sense of um, everyone being in this together. The launch was like a festival. There was children, there was balloons, there was um, a, sense of, a sense of community. Ray Robinson was cutting the tape and uh, it was fun. When you're outside on the road, there's no big wall and there's no sliding electric gates. You, you can walk right up to the door. It's very, very much open and it's part of the community. Is it recognisable as it being a, rent, a residential home? Not at all. It, it, it fits in, it doesn't hide itself, and I think it becomes, because of that, it becomes part of the community. Exactly the same happens below with, with Tiernan Oog. It's down in Blackrock. There isn't a wall, there isn't a barrier. Um, you can walk straight in. It's removed from the city centre. So I think it needed to fit in as essentially a pocket community within Blackrock. It needs to have its own um, surroundings um, and it needs to be part and near the village. Um, and I think it has done that very successfully. Here we have 13 bedrooms. We decided to keep footprint, etc., of the existing house and to use it to house the bedroom accommodation and everything that required a larger footprint we did as an extension onto the existing house and we separated it with a courtyard. You need the building to have enough space for it to work. I think planning belongs to us as the public. When Simon gets planning permission for something, I think of its benefit to the community and it's a benefit to, to everyone. And yeah, I take a certain level of pride in, in helping that along.